Hey, 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 official JDTV here. How are you? And thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, the flags are going down straight away because I am busy, busy, busy today. This is my final Britain Scott Talent review. Yes, we're at the final and we crowned Richard as our 2016 winner of Britain's Got Talent. Congratulations to him. He done some great magic on the final night. This final was jam-packed full of talent. We had magicians, we had dancers, we had singers and we had a great dog act and I loved the singers and I think that calls for a celebration. Here we go, celebration time. Congratulations to them all. If it were. Congratulations to them all. Yes, celebration. Congratulations to all the contestants because they've done amazing. I'm just like Simon Cow. I've got the final at my fingertips and I feel like the final and look like the final. Thank you to everyone who's tuning in and remember please subscribe for more weird and wonderful videos like this and thank you to everyone who has stuck by me through this series because I've been reviewing all the way up to the live final and we are here now so thank you to everyone at home who's tuning in and can you remember I predicted who my winner was and I sealed it for you guys now I'm going to reveal it so my reveal and my winner who I really wanted to win was Jasmine unfortunately she didn't win but congratulations to getting to the final I picked Jasmine for a couple of reasons. She was so young and so talented. And every time she sang, she just gave me goosebumps. I thought she was amazing and I really loved her. And I can't wait to see her because that's not the last we're going to see of any of these guys. But I thought Jasmine for me was my winner. And she just touched me and I absolutely loved it. And she always gave me goosebumps every time I saw her on that stage. And I absolutely loved her. And what did you guys think about on this year's Britain's Got Talent? It was the 10th year, was it what you expected? Please leave your comments in the comment box below because I'd love to hear from you and tell me what you thought about us crowning Richard as our 2016 winner because he was fantastic and I thought the whole show was fantastic. And who enjoyed that performance right at the end with um, Diversity and Calabro and everyone? It just took us down memory lane, didn't it? And we saw all the greats on that stage. I don't know where Susan Boyle was and I don't know where Paul Potts was, but all the rest were there and it was fantastic. So I loved that bit. Right, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to review my top five performances from Britain's Got Talent to the final. I'm going to start with my favourite, Jasmine, and then build up to the winner, Richard. So please stay tuned because we're going to have a lot of fun, believe me. So here goes with Jasmine first up. Here she is, my winner and the depth go on and buzzer. It is Jasmine. She is so young and so talented. That's why I chose her to win. I thought she was amazing. And this song for me was the exact right song. She looked great and she sounded great. I love what she's wearing. That was uh, absolutely brilliant. I love the whole stage. And she just sounded great. And the deck fell in love with her straight away, and so did I. She got the golden buzzer, and her first audition was absolutely perfect. And for me, she just got better and better in this competition. So young, and someone who can sound like that, we have not seen the last of her. And I think she's going to be a big star in the future. So keep your eyes out on her because she really, really blew me away. And congratulations to her and congratulations to all the finalists because they done so well. And the talent this year was so high. Here she goes. She absolutely smashes it. Is it me or is Simon Cow copying me? Absolutely perfect. And I love the setting behind her as well. It just goes with her and her smile. Everyone keeps mentioning her smile. She's got a smile that just makes you smile. And she makes me feel so comfortable watching her. And she's comfortable and well. This bit for me absolutely blew me away. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there before I cry. That was Jasmine doing an absolutely fantastic performance on the Britain's Got Talent final. Congratulations to her and I can't wait to see her in the future. Next up we've got my favourite choir of this series. It's the 100 Voices of Gospel. They're different for me. They have a lead singer who I absolutely love her. And also they have dancers. 
two things I've never seen in a choir. They bring it together, wearing that, sounding like that. And for me, this was an absolutely amazing performance. You know, I'm young, I don't really go and see choirs and really enjoy them. But for me, I really enjoyed this one. It really makes me smile, it makes me move, and it just makes me want to dance. There we go, and they really brought it. They took it to church and back. Is it me or is Simon Cow copying me? And I love her, her voice is so, the tone in it, the everything in it, she just takes it and absolutely smashes the roof off. And they're moving, they're grooving. I love the gold, I love the white, they all look like they're having fun. I'm having fun watching it, the audience love it. Amanda, look at her, she's on it. Yeah, absolutely love them. Congratulations to them, I'm sure all their voices are absolutely going to smash them. I actually worked out if they did win and they win 250,000, which wow, that's a lot, I could buy a lot of clothes. They actually get 2,500 each, so is it really worth winning it? I guess not. Only joking, they are going to absolutely smash the music industry. Believe me, some management's going to pick them up, even maybe Simon and Carl, who knows, I might give them a phone call. But they're going to have a bright future, taking it to church on the Britscott Talent final stage. Well done to them, I absolutely love them from the minute I saw them. Next up, Simon and Carl's Golden Buzzer, and I guess I should like these. It is the Boogie Storms, Let the Force Be With You. These were fun, Simon Cow, da -da -da -da. Simon Cow absolutely loved these from the minute he saw them. He pressed his golden buzzer and they have made it through to the final. Who knows who's under them? Is it girls? Is it boys? Is it a mixture? Or are they aliens? We really just don't know. But all I know is they are so talented and like they pick songs and dance to it. It makes me laugh, it makes me move, it makes me smile. Everything I want from an audition, they bring it to me. Well, they move, they dance. Oh yes. They add a bit of fun to dancing, they don't take it too seriously. And they've got themselves to the final. I absolutely love these. Oh, I love this bit. Love it, I really just want to join their group because they're so like, so happy, so fun and amazing. For me, they pick the right songs throughout this competition. And they made it their own. Oh yeah, this bit as well. Picking great songs, dancing good, and it just, the whole package for me, and I can see why Simon gave them their golden buzzer, and I can see why they made it to the final. Next up, coming second, and I love him for two reasons. It's Wayne Woodward. He sounds great, and he's just got that swag, and it's sort of Danny Dyer about him. And I absolutely love him. I'm a big fan of Michael Bublé. When I saw him, I thought he's just a younger Michael Bublé and bringing it um, to the younger generation. And his voice is incredible. Have a listen. I think at the final, like anyone would, he was a little bit nervous, but it really didn't stop him because I thought this was a great performance. And I love this song, it just makes me feel good, pardon the pun. But it's one of them songs where you can just move to, join in, and he's got the swag and dance about it. I love the dancers with the flat, uh, with the, uh, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, it's just great, just great for me. Love what he's wearing, love the sound, love everything about him. And I was really convinced he might win this and might steal it. But he comes second, which he is going to be delighted with that. And uh, yeah, I really, really like him. And I'm sure the future is bright for him. So congratulations to Wayne Woodward. And next up, we hand him our winner. Congratulations to him. Britain's Got Talent. 2016 winner, it is Richard Jones. I absolutely loved him. Have a listen to this and have a watch. 
and use it to tell a story. I think the Queen would have person. this at the Royal Party. Good evening, Mum. He brought Britain to the stage. So patriotic, so clever, and the ending of this and was he went absolutely on to become spot on. One of the youngest members of the Magic Circle at the time. It's just crazy how he does it. He's so talented. And I love magic, and he's just for me great. For his um, he enlisted into the Royal Artillery. From his first audition he back along, he was absolutely amazing, Singapore. and he's got better and, and better. Bravely. And the way he for does his magic, and, and it flows, and it's so While clever. He there, he's got the whole package for me, so I can see why he, he won it. And friends, Britain is just fine in love with him. And I think the Queen will love him. And severely wounded. His family thought he was dead, but in fact, he wow. was captured, and he spent the next three years of his life... I love how it's not big magic Amanda, and a big setup. It's all this hand hands. stuff and this close magic. The camps, and I absolutely loved it. He underwent and the story behind it is kind of really good, and how he tells the story no through magic. And through. like Amanda said, it's actually but emotional, and who would think you get emotional over... A magician, but he magic. does it for somehow. He perform not I love this bit, and I still, I pause it and pause it. I do not know how he does this. For the guards, who would give him Absolutely and his friends amazing. extra food during the long periods of starvation, but he would have his favourite trick. Was I love this bit. Here we go. A name so he's ripped it up. Now he burns it, it, destroying it, and in a split Last second, fixed. he blows. He moves, and in a second. And it's back together again. It's like, wow, that is absolutely incredible. Among his comrades. And it just gave you injection this of uh, blood back into your veins, which I British. think is fantastic. This, this is bit, a little bit of a cock up here, but who Mr. cares? You know, you have to move the card up a bit, but who's bothered? It was a fantastic performance. And believe it or not, he is there with his band. To present to you there he is, no one was expecting that. They're on their feet, look at him there. So patriotic and congratulations to him. I absolutely loved that. And it looks like it looks like Britain really loved it as well, because we crowned him a 2016 winner. Congratulations to him and I can't wait to see more magic from him. And uh, yeah, he's just great, great, great. So he won our 2016. Britain's Got Talent. The 10th year, we went out with a bang and picked a magician. Congratulations to him. Wow, 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 that was my 2016 Britain's Got Talent, the final review. I hope you guys are like this. I have loved the 10th year of Britain's Got Talent. There was so much talent, and this year I thought the talent was so high. We had some great singers, we had some okay dog acts. I'm not a fan of them. Magicians, dancers, choirs, everything you can name it is on that stage. And for variety, it is just fantastic. Like I said, I love Jasmine and I can't wait to see more of her. Because I think, God, she is so, so incredible. And she just gives me goosebumps every time I see her. And I really, really loved her. But also, I love Richard, his magic and his control and how he does it. It's just absolutely amazing. So I'm so glad we have crowned him our 2016 winner. And what do you think? Was he your winner? Please let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. So I'm really sad that is over now, the 10th year of Britain's Got Talent, my final review, it is over, I've got the balloons, I feel like Simon Cow. I feel like the final. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's tuned in each week up to the final and checked out my uh, review videos, because I really love doing them and thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below for more videos of me reviewing stuff. Next I'll be reviewing X Factor 2016 where we find our winner there so I'll be reviewing each week up to the final. So if you like the X Factor like me, keep on board and stay tuned and they'll be coming real soon. I think it's about August time it starts but I'm not sure but I'll get planning and I can't wait to do that. So this year has been amazing, I love the golden buzzers, I love the wild cards and I just thought 2016. Uh, Britain's Got Talent was absolutely amazing and the Queen and the Royal Variety are going to love Richard, good evening mum, 
they're going to love him and I think he's going to smash that stage. So I look forward to that performance and I'm really, really happy for him. And thank you yet again for everyone who's tuned in. I've loved this and I can't wait to see each other real, real soon. Everyone have a great weekend, have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.